einen Formel 1 Fahrer, der sich in Miami neu erfunden hat und eine Band, die aus 305 Miami's Era Code einen Hit machte. Alicia Christine, eine kreative Kollegin von mir, arbeitet gerade an dem coolen Fotoband I Love Miami 365. Ich verbringe mit ihr einen artsy Nachmittag, voll von Straßenkunst, Musik und Kulinarik im Zentrum von Coral Gables. We are at the Carnival on the Mile. Yeah. And this is a weekend festival. They have it every year in Miami. And it's one of the festivals. I mean, Miami is all about parties, festivals, and <laughs> entertainment. So I think every excuse to have something fun, they do it. And this is this is this version of it. And there's the one thing I love about this festival is that there are bands that play. Okay. And we're going to hear all day long, all night. It's really good. And we're going to hear a, a really cool band called. No. Well, there's a lot of them, but Suenalo is a really good one. Suenalo. Suenalo. And, and then we're going to also speak with them. Hopefully. I want to take a picture of you. It's very colorful. Come here, come here. I'm on the dog's bed. <laughs> How sweet with the little palm tree. Wow, you look amazing. No, no, I need a photography. <laughs> you look so hot. Razzling, dazzling. Ja, im Backstage-Bereich dieses Festivals treffen wir jetzt auf die Mitglieder dieser coolen Band Swenalo. Miami is Swenalo. That means like play it or, or sound like it or what is it? It's the, the act of striking an instrument, object or person and obtaining a sound from it. Okay. Like, you go like this? Oh, man, sorry, sorry, sorry. How did you all get together? Suenalo started off being a funkadelic, uh, psycho psychedelic <laughs> improv band. group. And it, it, it morphed. And it, the reason why it morphed into what it is today is that different composers actually put their stamp on Suenalo. What are the lyrics about? Good times. Good times, yes. That is best summarized for all of those songs. Uh, good times. That summarizes all Miami. Everybody's having a bloody good time. <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. I found out that I'm living in the wrong place because everybody I speak to, they all say it's wonderful. So what am I doing in really another good. place? You should be the Prince of Miami, dude. Like yes, me. I should come. <laughs> we'll do that. Miami, it's, it's paradise all year round. And I think all the, all the bands that you hear and especially us, we encompass that. Paradise. You know, you can find paradise anywhere that your heart is content, but I'd say Miami is a special slice of it. And you, girl, what would you say about Miami? I love culture, and I don't get enough of it in Miami, but when I'm on stage with them, I do. How big of a market is it? Can you can you do enough performances? Can you live from it? Can you sell records enough? Is this that big enough to, to be able to live from it? I mean, I'd have to say we don't know either. We're still kind of figuring it out as it goes. Okay. It's uh, always developing. It's always yeah. developing. It's always growing. Opportunities are always growing. Things are popping up out of the woodworks. When they told us we were going to get interviewed by the Prince of Austria, I thought they were playing with me. You know what I'm saying? I thought we were joking. Señores y señores, el Príncipe de Austria, para todos vosotros, Suénalo, porque suena fantástico. Der Stadtteil Coral Gables ist einer der Klassiker von Miami. Mega. Die Money Society hatte hier in den 60er und 70er Jahren wunderbare Villen gebaut. Und als es dann endlich dunkel wurde, Suenalo live. Even though I never see such a great sort of a love when it takes so much. 